No one should be surprised that the Redskins have fired Jay Gruden, the first coaching casualty of the 2019 season. 0-5 and showing no signs of being competitive anytime soon. Although I will give them credit for having a lame duck coach. They did play hard yesterday against the Patriots. I know you're supposed to, you're professionals, but they did put up a little bit of a fight. They're just not a good football team. We had Triple G in before his fight on Saturday night, which he did win a lot closer than people thought. Uh, there was a report that he looked sluggish. Chris Mannix wanted to know. He actually wanted a statement from us, the show, <laughs> to say, did we know if Triple G was sick when he came into the man cave on Thursday? Todd, can you help me on this? He seemed absolutely fine. There was no concern about a fever or cold or anything but like that. But what were we told before the interview? We were told uh, to not touch him, to, if anything, do nucks. No hugging, no physical contact, so that he doesn't get sick right before the fight, which was going to be two. Todd, days to be later. clear, did they say to prevent a cold or because he was getting a cold? They, nothing was mentioned about getting a cold. It was to prevent it. He's Peter King. His uh, great column every Monday morning, football morning in America. Serious question: Do you think you could do a better job running the Redskins as GM? I would say 20 years ago, I would have gone at this with hook, line, and sinker. But today, I'm 62 years old. I kind of like my Mondays and Tuesdays <laughs> off right now, and so you're not gonna re you're not gonna rebuild an NFL franchise if uh, if uh, uh, if you like to take a couple of days every week off in the fall, which I now do. So what you're saying is you're removing your name from consideration. I am removing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Respectfully. Respectfully. Yeah. All right, uh, let's bring in Babe Loffenberg, the uh, Cowboys radio network analyst and former NFL quarterback. Jason Garrett's status, he doesn't get that extension yet. Do you feel like there is he must get to here to keep his job? Is there is there a, a line of demarcation for Jason Garrett to keep his job? You know what? Let me ask, Dan, hold on one second. I've got Jerry Jones on line two. Okay, fair enough. Let me ask All him. All right. All right. <laughs> so he's the only one. Everybody speculates uh, on what Jason needs to do, but I do know this. Jerry, Jerry really likes Jason. They work well together. The last thing he wants to do is fire Jason. Chris, uh, is, is what we're saying here, are you interviewing me about the Triple G rumors? Yes. Okay. Um, question one. Was it a phlegmy cough? Was it a dry cough? Could you please just describe the cough? I thought it was he cleared his throat. Hmm. Okay. I didn't see the program. I listened. Was he wearing extra layers? Were there any gloves involved? Well, he did have a sweatshirt on. Okay. And... It wasn't cold in New York. He had a couple of layers on. Okay. I, mean, I, I think that's pretty good. Okay. I think that's... I'm, I'm making notes as we as we speak, Dan. Tune in to the Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on Audience or the DP Show app.